I'm sure that most of you know about Norley. She is this amazing Dutch woman going all around the world on her bike. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're gonna talk about Itchy Boots. From a young age, she would ride on her skateboard traveling solo, making a 20 kilometer ride, and she would travel on her bicycle through the grasslands. But before we begin, please support us by hitting that subscribe button, hitting that notification bell, and with this aside, let's begin with the video. Born on the 30th of June in the Netherlands, she left her career to pursue a life of passion, and today she travels through roads and places that might not be safe for the locals, let alone foreigners traveling alone. Back in Mexico, she had to cross a dangerous area escorted by Mexican police. When she was back in Mexico again, her tales were so widely known that even the police there recognized her and took a selfie for his father-in-law. Anyway, in that particular video, she was in San Felipe, Baja, California. It was her last day in Mexico, and she saw how friendly and welcoming they were. She was making her way to the US, but the COVID pandemic was still prevalent, and so she had to get herself tested. So. She had to make a good plan, so the plan was there were three main border crossings, and she can take the one in Tijuana, which is one of the biggest and busiest border crossings in the world, and there was one in Tecate and one more in Mexicali. So she planned on taking the border at Tecate. She had a lot of amazing moments in Mexico and all of these experiences, the nature, and the canyons, it's been a very good experience for Itchy Boots. But she wants to make her roots and the main reason why you want to tell a traveling solo was so that she could go wherever she felt like and that is the true essence of exploring. The road was paved but it was a long ride with nothing to see. The area was secluded and empty but then she came across some shady people who were armed and checking a truck. It was a group of men, maybe around 6 to 10, which is very dangerous and as for a foreigner, it's very concerning. They called her to talk and Mexico is one of the most dangerous places in the world and something very fatal could happen, but one of the guys kept on asking if she was filming. Maybe it was because they did not want to be seen on camera or maybe it could be because it was evidence of some crime, and even though she did say that she was not filming, he went on to check all of her cameras. She wasn't filming because the area was very normal, nothing interesting but only God knows what would happen if she had tapes of these shady men recorded. The other older guy asked her to leave and that was a relief, but overall the experience has been pretty good for Norley, and Mexicans have been very friendly towards her, and she's packed in a lot of memories in her videos for herself and for you to watch. From this, I can tell that Mexico is a beautiful country and equally dangerous at some point, but, but this is similar to many other countries. And well, it was an experience of a lifetime. She has very good Spanish for a Dutch and then she finally made her way to the United States, but sadly she injured herself in the Nevada desert. She was trying to climb a hill in the deserted place, the place was rocky and so she fell. She had to go fast to keep herself in the momentum to make the climb, but the unfortunate fall meant she lost all the momentum. It was almost like the Americans were waiting for itchy boots. There are a lot of fans in America who follow amazing videos from the beginning, and some of them were even inspired to buy their motorcycle. She's been an inspiration to a lot of young Americans, but she injured her ankle from the fall of her motorcycle, but Ed March came to her rescue, and this crossover was a fateful match. Ed runs a YouTube channel called C90 Adventures where he's traveled a lot of places in a Honda C90. It was sad to see Norley in clutches, but the bike also had a bit of an issue with the toolbox which could hit the wheels when she hit a bump. Ed also has a great channel where he does a similar thing as Norley. Anyway, that's gonna do it guys, thank you so much for watching.